Tonight, a former Counts, uh, Coots, rather, city councilman is paying back victims for a felony crime. Ira Braniff pled guilty to felony theft after he pocketed money from the sale of a headstone bought by the mother of a teen killed in a car accident. This morning, a judge sentenced Braniff to pay back more than $5,000 to the woman and another victim. Braniff also received five years probation and a $1,000 fine. KFDM's Haley Bull was in Hardin County. She joins us now in the studio with reaction. Haley? Kelly, the district attorney says Braniff pled guilty to one of two charges, but the judge considered both counts in his punishment. While Braniff begins his probation, close friends of the teen killed say they don't want him to be remembered for the public official's crimes. A memorial on the side of Highway 69 reminds drivers passing by of two teens killed in a car accident last year. He was a fireball, very energetic. There was never a dull moment when Kieran was around. Kieran Edwards was a senior at Coons High School when he lost his life. When you first get the news, it's very traumatic. You don't want to believe it. Family friend Tamantria Moffitt says the heartbreak made worse when Edwards' mother became the victim of a public official's crime. It was hard for the family with, you know, the, the accident and everything, but, you know, for that to go on, it was just like, wow. <laughs> I was in shock. I couldn't believe it. Investigators say former Coon City Councilman Ira Braniff pocketed the money the teen's mother paid for a headstone for her son and that a couple paid for their memorial. Wednesday, Braniff pled guilty to one of two counts of felony theft. I was relieved, moreover, for the family because, you know, we feel like justice was served. So Justice, including five years probation, a $1,000 fine, and paying back the victims more than $5,000 for what they lost. You also hate to see somebody that uh, is well thought of or respected in the community. Uh, you hate to see uh, uh, them t t take a fall or the, the community uh, lose faith in somebody like that. So you don't like seeing those kind of situations, uh, um, but uh, it is what it is, and it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, you know, you still have to be accountable. While Brianna's name is now linked with the crime, Moffitt says she wants Edwards remembered for more. I want Karen to be remembered for being the good guy that he was. He was. I would say the life of the party. <laughs> he was the jokester. A life lost that may have an impact beyond his time here. This to be an experience for growth for kids his age to, you know, to see that just just have fun, make the best of life. That's exactly what Kieran did. The district attorney says five years probation is the maximum probation Braniff could receive. He is no longer serving on city council. In the studio, Haley Bull, 6 News Tonight.